Foul devil, for God's sake, hence and trouble us not. For thou hast made the happy earth thy hell, filled it with cursing cries and deep exclaims. If thou delight to view thy heinous deeds, behold this pattern of thy butcheries. O oh, gentlemen, see, see, dead Henry's wounds open up their congealed mouths and bleed afresh. Blush, blush, thou lump of foul deformity, for it is thy presence that exhales this blood from cold and empty veins where no blood dwells. Thy deed, inhuman and unnatural, provokes this deluge most unnatural. O oh God, which this blood madest, revenge is death. O oh earth, which this blood drinks, revenge is death. Either heaven with lightning strike the murderer dead, or earth gape open wide and eat him quick. As thou dost swallow up this good king's blood, which his hell-governed arm hath butchered. The misery of us that are born great. We are forced to woo, for none dare woo us. And as a tyrant doubles with his words and fearfully equivocates, so we are forced to express our violent passions in riddles and in dreams and leave the path of simple virtue, which was never made, to seem the thing it is not. Go, go, brag you have left me heartless. Mine is in your bosom. I hope twill multiply love there. You do tremble. Make not your heart so dead a piece of flesh to fear more than to love me. Sir, be confident. What is distracts you? This is flesh and blood, sir. Tis not the figure cut in alabaster kneels at my husband's tomb. Awake, awake, man. I do here put off all vain ceremony and only do appear to you a young widow that claims you for her husband. And like a widow, I use but a half blush in it. 